G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. One of the pouches I ordered has arrived. Well, I should say there's two of them, but of the same pouch. And that's the Helicon Tex Bushcraft Range Seri Pouch. Made it to shelter so I can sit in the shade. Temperature today I think I'm in the high 30s centigrade. So I thought it'd work sensible. The shaver I've mounted the Sevy pouch. I've got one on this side of the Bergen pack and one on this side. The plan was to use the Sevy pack as a basic first aid kit and snake bite kit in one but that didn't work out and in a moment I'll show you why but this is what I'm taking I've got my cables here for my camera nine spare batteries and I got my spare SD cards and the small um, waterproof part for my camera for when I have to take the microphone off and there was space left in the pouch uh, now that's empty I'll take the pouch off so you can get a close look of it and because it's new the straps are still good and stiff and as long as you're not taking them on and off all the time <laughs> they'll stay stiff so you're not going to be losing the pouch that easy and even if you are going to be taking them off regular with how they're made and how stiff they are now and even when they go so, uh, more supple I don't think there's much chance of these being pulled off if you get them snagged on a tree or anything uh, that way pulling it the wrong way will help to do it the correct direction doesn't it let's tuck that in through Now let's show you the webbing on the back first. We've got two rows of webbing here, but the bottom row is a double layer. So that means when I put it on my pack here, I don't have to worry about going through this one because I still want it to be able to move up and down for me to get into the pocket. So how I'm going to be doing this is I'll put it between two layers, I don't know if you see the second layer below that and I bring it down and through and then I'll just tuck it back behind the second layer so it's between the uh, top one and around the back of the back one and that is going nowhere so that's how I attach that to my pack so now I can still lift that up and down with these to get into the pocket underneath or the pouch underneath or whatever you want underneath. Take that out. Next thing you'll notice is there's another loop which is your belt loop. If you wanted to you could still put your belt between the webbing or you could hang it have it hanging through this loop here which is more than big enough to use and either way you do it behind you have a I don't know if I can call it a slot or like a little pouch but it's got an open bottom on it so that comes all the way through now when that's on your pouch net you could put a ferro rod down there or your small knife but you've got nowhere to hook onto here really there's only a small piece 
So if you're going to have your ferro rod, you're going to have to have your striker or a, uh, a loop on it to stop it going all the way through and out the bottom. So your choice what you can use in there. It's made out of a 500D Cordura fabric. It's water resistant. Uh, and as you can see, it's part of their bushcraft range. YKK zippers, which are nice zippers. If you have a close up, you can see you got the dust guard on there, which will also help prevent water getting in there. So it'll be more like a splash proof zip. But if you put this in water, you get water eventually seeping through the gaps there and the hole there between the double pulley. We also have these two loops, one on either side. Now they could be used for putting a carabiner on and hanging something off, emergency whistle or something. They don't say what they were made for, but I personally believe they were like other pouches. So you can hold that and pull the zip. So it makes it so much easier for the zip to go up. Because you've noticed on some packs, if you do this, the zip gets like there. It's not as blunt because I'm putting some pressure there. But holding it from the bottom here, the zip moves easy. So I think that's what these loops are for, one on either side. But I suppose you could also hang a neck strap, just hook it around and use it as anywhere on there, a strap. It does come with that same using the strap. It does come with this, this belt, and you've got a loop on either side. So what it is is this part goes through, and then you'll click it closed. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to put it on the pack. And this end, you've got your buckle. So if you look there. You got the slot. Let's give it the right way around. So what we would do is put one in, and then we just squash it up this side and push it down there, and that'd be nice and secure. Now you could use that either as a bum bag, the same again as a shoulder bag for your EDC if you want. But walking down, I thought about another way of using it, and that would be as like a mini chest rig. Put it through my chest strap either through there, so it can hang. Like that. And then you've got a nice little chest rig, just a small one. Which would probably be the idea for me carrying my uh, camera batteries and things in so I get easy access to it. Now let's go to the inside. I'll pull the side back here so you can see. So before I open it up properly, you see you've got a nice, strong reinforce, it looks like. Yeah, nice and strong uh, stitch in there. And what you'll also notice is we've got one loop here, and on the back side where you've got the molly. You have another two, one on either side. So you can attach your emergency whistle to that, uh, your compass to it, your keys, and just drop your key in there, your car key, and not lose it. Now, make it even easier, I'll turn this inside out. Now, you've basically got that space there, which is about one, one and a half to two inches at the bottom of the pouch. So, once you get things in here, and this side, that is going to fill up, but you are still going to have room for some smaller stuff down at the bottom if you want. So on the front side, which is the side where you've got the badge which faces out, we have a small mesh pocket with a zipper. Now this pocket isn't very big. That's what my micro SD cards fit in. 
and that fills that pocket up and pushes the front out slightly on the other side on the back there are three pockets and when I saw these I thought great I can use this as a snake bite kit and a basic first aid kit all in one but the uh, snake bite kit I got the compression bandages are too big for these pockets so that went out the window and I'm still using the uh, mini med kit by Helicon Tex but I've just moved them to the the front of the pouch or the back of the pouch which is wherever way you look at it but what I do use this for like I said is for my batteries and my electronics at the moment and my second one that's on the pack I use for my basic cleaning kit so there's my towel sanitizer blue roll, my toothbrush toothpaste fits in there, I've got some spare blue roll in there, some uh, what you call them, cleaning facial wipes in there, so that's worked out really nice for this. I think all I have to add into here are my small um, I can't remember what they're called, button or button uh, compressed face cloths, uh, towels. Because they, with a bit of just a small amount of water put on, they come apart and they end up quite large and they're almost as big as this. Let's have a look. Yeah, probably just a bit bigger than that, which is half the size of the towel. So let's put that back in there now. And that's all I'm going to need to add into there. And like I said, you've got the space at the bottom there. They'll fit nice down there. Turn the pack on. So remember to pick that off. And that. I'm using the row of webbing on the outside of the Bergen here from Helicontex Bushcraft Range. To attach the savvy pouch to and all I'll be doing is going through this one and this one the first and third one so I'll put that one through I'll put that one through and just to show you once that's done up down there I'm still going to be able to lift it to get into this bottom pouch so I'll attempt to do this whilst on camera so you can see, I'll push it through that one first. I'll do the same on this side. So that goes between the top and the uh, bottom one, or the first and second one. And I don't know if you can still see it, you've got the second one here. So now I'm just going to fold this over, or roll it over and tuck it down the back there. Did that one in not easy easy but easy enough to not be too much of a pain and there it is back on the pack and that's your Sevi brush craft range pelt from Helicon Tex if you've enjoyed the video please go down below and click on the subscribe button Click on the notification bell and click on the like button, the thumbs up that is. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get up there, have some fun and take care.